As today marks the World Mental Health Day, it has been asserted that about 790 million people globally are affected by mental health issues. Psychiatrics expert and director of health at Usman Damfodio Teaching Hospital Sokoto, Professor Mufatu Yunusa, revealed this during a public lecture marking World Health Mental Day 2024, organized by the Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital, Kwari. The staggering number highlights the pressing need to address mental health concerns. ADBN Northwest correspondent Lawal Alihu has more on the story. Professor Yunusa emphasized that many individuals are unaware of their mental health struggles, underscoring the importance of prioritizing well-being to achieve mental stability and enjoy life. He said, tragically, mental health issues have claimed numerous lives, hence the need to combat. They will not spend much on mental health because they don't want to be mentally And that's why it is important for us as individuals, as employers, employers and employees to focus attention on mental health of our students. Dr. Abdullahi Suleiman, in his welcome address, stressed the significance of this year's theme, noting that its importance cannot be overstated. I know if the mental health has problems, it will affect productivity. It will affect so many things in the workplace. And you might be working with somebody you don't know what is passing through. You might just say it's found wanting. But if you prove very well, you discover that it has an underlying mental problem. Also speaking, Chief Medical Director of Federal Neuropsychiatric Hospital Quarry, Professor Shehu Sali, emphasized the relevance of prioritizing mental health in the workplace to foster a healthy work environment. We know impaired mental health can affect your physical health and can affect your performance and your attributes at work. And then difficulties at work, issues at work too. Problems with your boss, problems with your spirits can also impact negatively on your mental health. Professor Saleh urged individuals to maintain a healthy lifestyle, recognizing the interconnectedness of physical and mental well-being. Sokoto State Commissioner of Health, Hajia Asabiba Larabe, represented by Dr. Adamu Ibrahim, pledged to collaborate with any organization that shares the vision of enhancing the health and well-being of state residents, emphasizing the importance of teamwork in achieving this goal. The issue of mental health, and we all agree that uh, is something that we can't uh, run away from now. Looking at the realities of the world we now, so we take place. According to psychiatric expert Muktahu Yunusa, globally, mental health conditions affect approximately one in eight people worldwide, with anxiety and depressive disorder being the most common. From Sokoto, Lawal Aliyu, ADBN News.